Hey, welcome to another video by Beltur Tech uh, slash VU3 Golf is in November. So here, uh, this is a UBTX uh, version 6 that I have today. I'll be explaining uh, how to do zero bit uh, tuning for this particular uh, transceiver. As you can see, this is running a custom uh, uh, firmware uh, that uh, I have modified and added a few features which I'll be showing today. Uh, this uh, firmware is available on uh, GitHub, uh, which uh, link I'll be posting down below in the description. So let us see, uh, understand what the issue is, and then we'll see how to set it right. Okay. Um, so I have uh, I have my 7300 here, which I'll be uh, I've set it to uh, zero percent uh, power. So it's uh, probably sending about. Uh, you know, uh, 600, uh, 700 milliwatts uh, because I've set the voltage, uh, input voltage to 11.5 volts on that. So that not to overload the uh, front drive of this. Uh, but we need a, a radio frequency. See, you don't have to do this. Uh, if you're already having a very solid signal, you can zero bit tune. But I don't have anything right now. So I'm using my 7300 to generate a signal in milliwatt uh, range so that I can zero bit uh, tune the uh, UBTX. So what I'm doing here is I've set up audio prompts on my 7300 and uh, press this. So it will be sending out QRZ. You can hear that here. See, so it's not tuned correctly. Okay, as you can see, as you can hear, uh, see the audio is unclear, right? So let us see how to fix this. Um, yeah, very quickly, I'll uh, just uh, fix my camera and then we'll see how to fix this. Thank you. Okay, so we have this here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, stop the uh, transmission on my 7300 and then uh, press and hold this uh, tuner knob for about uh, five seconds. Then it will go into the setting screen. Once we go there, so you don't need to adjust the frequency. You need to adjust the BF uh, bit frequency oscillator for zero bit. Okay, um, so in your regular cast uh, in your regular uh, firmware uh, given by uh, HF signals, you won't have this menu setting like this because in the modified firmware, what I've done is I'm saving the last bit frequency that you have set to uh, the memory so that next time when you come in, you can see you see this currently set to this number and you are at this number, right? So you can set and adjust correctly without having to guess uh, or you can even write it down so that in case you come back to it, you can set it back again. Let me enable the TX on my 7300 so that we can hear that. See, you are able to hear that. Now we will try adjusting this. I will reduce the volume a little bit. Just go to 56. So adjust until you think the audio sounds correct. So that should give you a zero bit uh, tuning. For me, I think this works best. I believe uh, VU2 ESE also has a video on how to adjust the zero bit on UBTX. Uh, but I thought I'll make one video for this uh, using the firmware that I have modified. Uh, so once done, uh, let's listen to it once again. We'll set it here. Push to save. See. So as you can see, there is a significant difference from the previous audio and the current audio, right? Uh, so let me see if I can get somebody to ha have a TX. <coughs> we'll uh, see how the TX goes. Thank you. VU3 Tango Bravo Uniform. This is VU3 Golf Fiski Number. How do you copy, Rajesh? Roger. Roger, Roger, Rajesh, thank you very much uh, for the QSO. I adjusted the zero beat uh, on the U bit X uh, by using my 7300. Just wanted a report from you, Roger. Roger, Roger, Rajesh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll, uh, ca we'll catch you later, 73. 
So because of weather conditions, uh, unable to have a nice QSO. Uh, so, but uh, I have here a rack going on, on 7173 with some of the old men from Kerala. So if you can listen. So here also you can adjust the zero beat with this. So it will show what is your previous setting. So you can go there and uh, adjust it. I think this sounds much better. Uh, this is VU3 TBU talking. So. Okay, thanks for watching my video. This is how you do a zero bit tuning on the UBTX version 6. Uh, check out my firmware that I'm using right now with this UBTX version 6. I'll put in the description. You can upload it. That's an Arduino Nano. So it should not be any problem. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day. 73 out.